What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and today we're going to be talking about these things called Crocker Cards. This is a fantastic little packet trick from Steve Diller. You may know Steve as a creator of the amazing Mark deck that is known as the Night Flight deck, which uh, this packet trick is made up using these particular cards. Before we delve into the review, here's a quick little performance of the trick so you can get an overview of what's involved and what the trick actually is. We've got this trick to try. Okay, so we've got a packet here, which we'll come to later, and then we've got a deck of cards. Yeah. So just take the cards out. When you cut the deck, however many you want. Oh, how many times to cut it? Or just no, have just once. So take off as much as you want, cut, pick up the other half, and turn it sideways on the deck. Right. right. So in here, yeah. I've got four playing cards. Yeah. And these are sort of, in a way, a prediction. So we're gonna get to these. On here, do you want top or bottom? Top. Top, okay. So we'll take the top bit where you cut. Yeah. We've got this card here. Yeah. That is King of Diamonds. King of Diamonds, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've got here. Now, in this packet, I've got four playing cards, like I said. Yeah. They're all face down, apart from one card. Now, wouldn't it be fantastic if I made a prediction and the card that you chose was the one that was face down? Yes. Yeah? So if I spread these cards, <gasps> the King of Diamonds. Now, I know what you're thinking, that could be put up, but all these are red. That one there is the only blue card. <laughs> that is unreal. Wow. Wow. Here we go. What is the routine or trick? Basically, this is a fantastic little opener for any routine or can be used as a next step for a card trick or a mentalism effect. As a basic premise and effect, you ask the spectator to name any king from a deck of cards in spades, clubs, hearts, or diamonds, and this is a completely free choice from the spectator on what they choose. They can even change their mind if they wanted to, and once a suit has been selected, you can then tell them that you knew that they were going to select that particular king and then take out the cards from the plastic sleeve, spread the cards to show that you've got four playing cards and that one king suit that they selected is actually face up while the others are face down. Then you go on to say that not only that, you can remove the card from the deck and the back of the card is completely different color as well. Once you perform the trick, you can place a card, put it back in a plastic wallet, you reset and good to go again. Regarding costing, I don't recall how much I paid for these. I got them at a lecture day at Darlington, but they're usually £18 on Steve's website and I think it was about £15 that I got them for, which is a good deal, I think. And it's such a super simple trick and easy to do and it's been added in my everyday carry for in the wallet and a pack small plays big in my opinion and it always gets great reactions. So what do you get with it? This comes in a little sealed bag and you're getting four cards in that bag and also a plastic sleeve to keep the cards inside, which that's all you need that you to perform the trick. There's also the tutorial available on his website, which anyone can see, which explains the trick and how to perform it. Regarding instructions, it comes with a seven page PDF document, which you can view, which explains about the trick itself, how to set the trick, that's should it get messed up, and also a routine slash handling for the trick. Would it be nice to have it maybe a short video with Steve talking about the trick and maybe performance for people to see, as I do love his performance style, but a PDF is all that's needed for this, I guess. If you're watching this, Steve, maybe it's next time that we're together, we should maybe shoot a tutorial for it. Happy to shoot the video for it and we'll get that out there for people. So if you want to do that, give me a shout. The trick is super easy to perform. If you can take some cards out of a packet, which for me, that's probably the hardest part of the trick and Steve would agree that as there's a specific way to get it done, then look at the cards, spread them in your hand, you can do the trick. You just need to have them set up and stored away ready for use. But the thing is with the trick though, you can expand on the effect and use it for something much bigger. For example, like in the performance that I did, I forced a player card on the spectator and once they pick that card, you can lose that on the deck or do whatever you want. You can then say exactly what card they've chosen and you knew it was gonna be that before the selected trick was performed. Then you can say you have four cards here and the card the spectator chose was a king and that's the first kicker. Now for the second kicker, you can present the, the one face up king with the correct suit. And for the third and final kicker, you can then show that the back was a different color to the rest. That way is a slightly more long winded way than added in the performance, but it's still sort of, it gives you those kicks for, so you can have three different kicks on the, the prediction rather than just the one of the 
predicted in the king and then the color, you can have the three for it. The cards themselves are part of the Night Flight deck, which is a marked playing card deck. And as a result, from taking the cards out of the plastic wallet, you know which card is going to be shown to the spectator when you spread the deck. So as a result of this, you can never mess it up. So the magic can be used anywhere at all. It's not set to a specific genre of magic. So you can form a mentalism routine around it. You can use it for a kicker on a card trick and so much more. With regards to angles, you can easily control angles and make sure that the spectators don't see anything that they shouldn't see. Like I said earlier, I've got these in a plastic wallet in my everyday carry wallet and they're always there ready to be used and performed. So can you inspect it? Well, of course you have to be careful when performing as to not expose the secret and the cards cannot be examined. But you can use a certain grip on the card when you pull it out to actually seemingly show that the card front and back is indeed the one that was chosen. And with doing this, it gives the, the impression to someone that their particular king that they chose is that king. And there's no option for it to be misunderstood as such. As it's such a quick visual and short effect, you can perform this effect, put the cards back into the, the wallet, and then you're good to go on to the next thing before someone asks to look at the cards. Is it well made? Yes, it is. The four cards are made with 100% plastic PVC, which are designed to last. So if you're using them at a bar and there's a drink spilled on them, etc., different things like that, you'll be fine. Which is what I loved about the early Night Flight deck that I bought because they're PVC and will last forever. The plastic wallet is decent quality too and may rip its size over time with multiple users, but of course that's just wear and tear and depends on how you handle the wallet. What positives are there? It's got such a small space to consume in your carry around kit that it's absolutely perfect. It's very, very easy to perform too, so if you can spread some cards, then you can perform the trick. As stated too, the cards are marked, so you know exactly what card you'll be shown to the spectator 100% of the time, so it's never fail. It's a simple little trick too, and gets people hooked in and ready for another trick. And as stated when talking about how the cards are well made, it's 100% plastic PVC, so it'll last you forever. What are the negatives? The plastic wallet is a bit small to get the cards out of, but I've always managed to get a certain way to hold the wallet and push the cards out rather than trying to reach in and pull them out, as I think that's how the wallet will be damaged over time, as previously mentioned. Apart from that slight niggle, there's nothing else negative to be said about them. The way that I found to get around the wallet is pinch it from the bottom and push the cards out and then pull them out, rather than trying to reach in and get them out, because that's when the, the issues were happening with the cards not coming out correctly and things like that. Let's delve right into the nitty gritty and is the trick worth getting? I wouldn't bother. Just kidding. For the price point, the quality of the overall effect when performance of spectators and also the quality of the cards too, these will outlive a standard deck of cards and will still be usable years down the line for sure. So it's definitely worth the money. Apart from the standard effect of asking a spectator to name a king suit and show that card, you can add this to many different routines and ideas to elevate the effect and give it a new leash of life. So you've got force cards, predictions, and even getting three spectators to select one king. So again, you can whittle it down, you can get the spectator to choose between a jack, queen, king, and say, for example, if they choose jack and say, right, we'll eliminate that. If they choose queen, we'll eliminate that, you're left with the king, and vice versa, if you choose king, great, on to the next one. After you've got the king chosen, you're free to let the spectators choose whatever they want. So they can choose red or black, there's no force and no specific needed colour for that because you have all of them in the, the card deck to choose from. And then again, once they've chose that colour, they can choose that suit as well. It doesn't make any difference. As long as you, they pick king, then you're good to go. So from that, what seems to be a completely free choice from the three different people, you've known what card they're going to select and you can produce that. There's so many more different possibilities which you can do with this trick apart from the two different ones I've came up with, the performance and this conclusion section. Love to hear some of your suggestions and ideas in the comments about how you use this, or if you have it, how do you actually use it and what routine do you use with it? I know that Steve has been working behind the scenes on some amazing stuff like a Night Flight Invisible deck and so much more, and of course I still think that it's one of the best marked decks out there at the moment, and it's the deck that I always have with me. He's also just released the PVC version of the new version of Night Flight deck as well, and that's next on the list I guess because I love the old version so much. If you're interested on learning about the Night Flight deck then check out my review on my channel which should be popping up on the screen too for you to click or if not it's in the description. Hope you enjoyed the review until next time see ya!